In this video, I'll show you how to quickly change your cable or DSL IP address in Windows XP. If you're using Windows 7, Vista, or another version of Windows, please check my other videos for your version. What we're going to do here is change your real IP address, meaning the one issued by your ISP. If you instead wanted to change the geographic location of your IP address, or to hide the one issued by your ISP, I'll mention some options for that at the end of the video. Now, before getting started, please make a note of your current IP address by going to findmyipaddress.com, check your IP, and write it down for comparison later. Next, if you're using a router, the first step of this process will be to unplug your router and connect your modem's cable directly into the back of your computer. If you're on a home computer, this shouldn't be too difficult. Same goes for a laptop, just plug the modem cable directly into the laptop. After doing this, give the connection 10 seconds or so to reset, and then go to any website to confirm that you have an internet connection. Maybe try google.com. Actually, you probably won't have a connection, in which case you'll need to restart your computer to get your internet connection back. After restarting, please make sure you can open a website or two before moving on. Okay, the next steps are for everybody. Go to your computer's Start menu and click Run. In the white box, type CMD and hit enter. When the command prompt appears, type ipconfig space slash release. It's important for there to be a space before the slash, then hit enter. Now, go to your computer's start menu again, click connect to, then show all connections, Right-click on Local Area Connection and click Properties. Then highlight Internet Protocol TCP IP and click Properties. Check the box for Use the following IP address and enter these settings. For IP address, enter all ones, meaning 12 ones. For subnet mask, enter 255.0.0.0. Then click OK, then close. Now wait at least another 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, follow the same path back to the settings we just changed. This time, however, check the box for Obtain an IP address automatically. Finally, click OK and close to exit the dialog boxes. Wait at least 60 seconds for the connection to reset. After doing this a few times, you'll recognize when the process is complete, and you won't need to wait that entire period. At this point, go back to findmyipaddress.com to confirm that your IP address has changed. If you get any type of connection error, you may need to restart both your modem and computer at the same time to get the connection back. In most cases, you should now have a new IP address. If so, congratulations. The only major drawback of this method is that the frequency with which you can use it is somewhat limited by the policies of your ISP, meaning you might not be able to use it very often. You'll have to wait a certain period of time before it will work again, and that period of time is dictated by your ISP. Also, this technique will not change the geographic location of your IP address. If you need to change your IP address often, or if you wish to change its location, you'll probably be better off using a service that relays your connection through a remote and private IP address. One example is iPrivacyTools.com, which adds a drop-down list of IP locations to your Internet Explorer or Firefox web browser. However, if all you want to do is get a fresh start with a new IP address from your own ISP, then the method we just covered should work just fine for most people. Also, for those of you who were using a router initially, you should be able to reconnect it now. You may also need to restart all three devices, meaning your computer, modem, and router, to get the connection to reset. Thank you for watching.